Ha <laughs> how's it going guys? My name is Sarai Just Nikki and welcome to another Heroes of the Storm game over mine. Now I must apologize for this because I forgot to record this game. Uh I was recording it like normally on the OBS, but turned out I clicked the preview thing instead of the record. And I really wanted to show that game, and so I'm going to be using the observer tool where you watch your previous games now i really don't like that there uh there is a lot of space taken on the top uh side of the screen by this thing here but there's really no other uh thing i can do to make it better now uh also the camera attraction here is pretty bad uh, there are two types of camera attraction uh either free for all i just look from my perspective or I double click on someone like for say Greyman myself and I click the space bar and hold it so I get constant follow up on that hero I don't know I don't know which is better for you I'm just going to follow myself for now but in general uh, I really like it how I show my videos normally not like this but there was no other way for me for, uh, for me to show you uh, this game and also uh, by showing you the replay I cannot show you the drafting phase so that's also uh, that also kind of sucks a bit now I'm going to be playing Greymane here uh, I've been recently playing Greymane only for this map uh, because I figured that Greymane's uh, damage single target damage is pretty strong for clearing uh, the Immortal on Battle of Eternity uh, I I'll be honest, I haven't picked Greymane for any other map, only for this one. Um, but I like him, I think uh, he's probably one of the best picks uh, for this map. Uh, and also, I'm not very good at him, but I do what I can. Um, now, a level 1 talent, this is by the way is going to be a pure attack speed build. Uh, because of the draft they have actually two tanks. And I don't want to be going anywhere deep versus two tanks so I'm going to be going attack speed uh, and trying to shoot with my pistol as much as I can um, this talent right here Wolfheart I actually even can't see the cooldowns of my spell so that's pretty uh, pretty bad uh, so you cannot really see what, uh, what spells are on cooldown what spells can you see it from here though no you only see the talents here Ooh, I went pretty well there Let's keep watching uh, what our other allies are doing here. They're contesting the Immortal. Like, I really don't like the replay mode, man. I'm, test I'm going to test it out for one video. Uh, but in general, I don't think I'm, I'm going to be using. So, Wolfheart here, this talent. Uh, so, basically, on Greyman, your W is get 50% bonus attack speed for 3 seconds. And if you land the auto attack, this duration is going to keep refreshing. Uh, basically this forces you to auto attack as much as possible but it refreshes also from neutral minions as well now this talent right here allows you to reduce the cooldown of this ability I'm actually going to be doing a lot of uh, damage auto attack and you cannot even see the damage so that really sucks I'm going to turn my attention actually to the fight that is happening here because I'm just uh, doing damage there uh, basically I'm really like a real commentator here um, uh, our team is doing some uh, their team is actually doing pretty decent damage our team is trying to do kill their carries as best as possible but they're going to be fin they're going to be able to finish the immortal unfortunately uh, but our team is going to be able to clear them out every one of them so that's pretty cool uh, we're the red team so this talent uh the w actually has around 50 seconds cooldown so every auto attack you're going to hit is going to reduce that cooldown by 0.8 seconds so if you land 10 auto attacks you're going to reduce that by 8 seconds if you land 20 auto attacks you're going to fully reduce the cooldown of your ability and you're going to be able to use it uh right after uh if you manage to fuck up your combo now, I think this is a pretty important talent if you go for this type of build because it allows you to keep your attack speed up even if you manage to get in a bad situation. Now it actually takes a lot of auto attacks to get a real value from this talent so uh, if you're not building the 
cocktail talent, uh, cocktail build. I definitely suggest that you go for uh, these talents right here. Now the deck, uh, next one is going to be insatiable, insatiable, insatiable. I don't know. Basically, every one attack is going to restore you 10 mana after you use your W, uh, up to 140 mana. Grayman is pretty mana hungry character, so I really like the extra mana that I get back. Level 7 is going to be Quicksilver Bullets, increase my attack range by 20%. Uh, I basically picked this talent because they have a Diablo and Artanis. And I really want to be attacking those both guys as further away as possible. Now, you might ask me, why don't you just go for Cocktail and, you know, try to jump on their carries. Well, this, is, this isn't that easy, bro. Um, Artanis and Diablo can very easily go back and turn the focus to you and as a gray main you never want to get stunned because uh you do have an escape with the retreat uh on your human form but in general you are very well sustained character and cannot i can I, you just cannot put yourself in shit situations so we're doing some very interesting trades here i haven't been commenting much on the trades but generally a lot of very nice trading here. I'm going to kill that door. I haven't actually been commentating much of the game, just uh, mostly for my talents. Um, I went very greedy there. By the way, I went greedy because I thought that Malfurion uh, retreated. And that was a big mistake. Fasad got healed. And uh, I probably could have went a bit deeper on the tower, but with Malfurion healing the Fasad, that was a big no no. Now. My team is gauging on theirs. Now Ragnaros is in a pretty bad spot. Anubarak is doing very good job on the... Well, nah. Very good job on the Ragnaros. Anubarak is going to die. That really sucks. I'm going to put focus on which... Yes, Yuvanas is slow. Everyone is pretty well. They're going to f turn their attention to the Immortal now. Now I'm actually arriving finally at the battle. Decide to go defend. Uh, but I see that there are a lot of enemies there, so that doesn't really work that well for us. Um, yeah. Well, focus. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to uh, go for the attack this time. Um, Faustad is damaging uh, our immortal, but no one is defending. We're trying to go very aggressive there. Ragnaros is going to die. Uh, I'm dealing, dealing some very nice damage to... Uh, Diablo there. To be honest, I think the free for all camera is better. Uh, you're going to see my mouse a bit more, but I feel like the constant, uh, I feel like the probably the constant movement is a bit better. Um, so we're racing here. Uh, I'm going to finally come here. Actually, I was taking a bit time on the, uh, on the minion wave, basically because I felt that we cleared them out and were pretty comfortable in finishing them, uh, like this. Uh, but general that Faustat could have probably raced us pretty well if I wasn't careful there. So we're going to get actually level 10 finally a, a very nice level advantage here and start pushing. Now I actually went for the marked for the kill. This is basically that uh, gray minuti that no one picks. But it's actually pretty good versus tanks. Double tank composition especially. Even versus single tanks. But it really depends on the overall composition. Basically... If you feel like you cannot go very deep versus their team, I definitely suggest you to pick Mark for the kill. Now, uh, it may not seem like much, but uh, you need to think of this suit as a very low cooldown, Mark 25% uh, remove uh, durability. Uh, it, its damage isn't that much, uh, but the durability removement really pays off quite a lot if you are trying to focus a target. It's actually uh, not that easy to land as well. It can be very easily dodged, especially from mobile targets. So you really need to pick up. Basically, I, I just pick up uh, the closest thing next to me that is zoning me out. And I just try to uh, start doing big damage versus it. Now what uh, this Uti does actually is it marks the target for 5 seconds. And if you, only you, land out attacks... Uh, that duration is refreshed. Now that could be a bit of a problem because sometimes uh, the hero gets pretty far from you. I actually marked Ragnaros there and we managed to burst Ragnaros. Diablo Uti going down. Uh, Lyoric doing some pretty nice damage. I'm still keeping on my uh, auto attack mode uh, because 
I'm generally pretty afraid as a uh, uh, yet to go that the versus times and Diablo got healed by Rhaegar, Mofiro Nuti going down and we're actually getting pretty well now I'm still, uh, we're going to get blinded as well I'm actually finally going into the worgen because I was blinded anyway and decided to do a bit more ability damage with my Q I'm going to go back into uh, human form to try to chase the Diablo but that's not going to go very well but Rhaegar with the totem is going to be very nice uh, now we managed to push pretty nicely there, 2 level advantage, a 4 down, basically it's a mirror image at the moment, but we have the 2 level advantage, which is pretty nice. Um, I have my ulti up here, but our boy Nubarak is going to get a pretty big engage there, uh, but I think we might be able to escape. Aurak now coming with the engage though on me, uh, I think I'm going to die here, oh the Ragnaros smash as well. And this is a, a pretty bad play from me because you definitely don't want to be a dead grey main while the immortals are spawning. Our Rhaegar though picked up their camp there, which was pretty nice move there, Rhaegar. Good job. Sylvanas is taking some uh, some side camps there. Lyoric is soaking the lane. The Ragnaros is defending versus the camp and soaking the lane. Uh, the, uh, the, our team is basically uh, getting a lot of stuff while I'm dead, so that's pretty nice. Now we can actually see Qs here and I think towers or forts i'm not really sure um so we're actually trying to race here uh which isn't going good for us because we're one uh, man down uh, you call me doxy huh <laughs> uh at this point i mean we could try to race uh but since the immortal position is uh, positioning is a bit strange uh i would rather try to defend here uh, we're going to get blind and again diablo which is going down it's not the best though. Uh, we're going to get flown out by Fastad. Uh, Rhaegar is pretty well. I'm going into the wolf form to damage Ragnaros, but this isn't going very well. I think I missed my ultimate as well. I'm just trying to damage the closest one to me, which is uh, Diablo. I'm going to get Diablo. We're actually still 5 men alive, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to keep damaging this immortal and we're going to secure it. Excellent. Wow, this went pretty well for us. Uh, the entire fight was pretty chaotic though, I mean, in, I just cannot keep the pace of everything that is happening in the in this uh, replay mode guys, I know, I feel like everything is just more chaotic here, uh, cannot keep track of abilities as well, Ragnaros is going to do go there, uh, dealing actually quite a lot of damage, um, I'm taking a lot of damage, getting blinded again by Artanis, our tanks are doing some pretty nice zoning there, but they're getting pretty well, Ragnaros is getting out, finally, uh, from his Molten Core. Now, the Immortal is starting to do some 4 damage. We are generally pretty well and try to play pretty safe there. I'm just trying to land my auto attacks uh, here, as you can see. Uh, ooh. Alright, we managed to just keep uh, get one 4 down, which is pretty nice. Oh, this is the forts remaining, and yeah, that, that makes much more sense now. Uh, our team actually has way more kills here. That's probably a reason why we have the level advantage as well. Our times went for the amateur point. This is pretty strong for this map as well. Shoot search. Oh, twin blades, though. This is a very interesting choice. Uh, Faustad is going for. Every time hammering. Interesting. A base can auto attack build for Faustad. What is happening here on the side, though? Uh, Diablo going with the Apocalypse. I saw a, a, a fail uh, Sofira smash there to be honest, I'm just throwing, actually Mark Diablo and throwing huge auto attacks on him to uh, make his HP go down, uh, ooh our guy there is going to die, a lot of our teammates are dying actually there, t t 2 down, 3 three down, I am pretty well with Lyoric here and we are doing pretty badly at the moment so that's pretty unfortunate, oh boy, um, a friend went for the ice block, yes yeah, Sofira smash, I'm just staying here trying to put out as much as auto attack damage as possible yeah the Diablo ulti was actually pretty good now I'm going to get uh, engaged by Fastad I'm going to jump to him and try to disengage myself uh, he went for a pretty aggressive mode but uh, yeah as a grain actually if I got uh, caught up by an Artanis or Diablo I was pretty dead there but I guess they couldn't react uh, fast there as well because that was a pretty surprising mode from, uh, from Fastad Okay now, no immortal spawning. I'm a bit low. Oh, going to get a Sophia smash on me there. Actually, they were waiting for me. I'm going to try to disengage. Rhaegar saving my ass there. 
Our team is re-engaging now. Uh, Faust and Ragnaros both pretty well. I went on duty on their Tannis and we're going to melt him pretty pretty fast. Our tanks are... Ooh, our Nubarak died, but uh, Leoric is keeping the chase there. I'm just trying to get uh, close uh, to Ragnaros here, landing auto attacks. Uh, probably going to go in wolf form. Yep, going to get some kills there. Um, yep, alright, cool. And we're... 3 to 1, which is a pretty, pretty good trade. I didn't uh, focus on my talents here after my ultimate talent for level 13. You go on the prowl, increase movement speed by 30% uh, if your inner beast was active for 3 seconds. Basically, this gives you a lot of mobility, especially if you're in, the, in your ranged form, because you can kite with that mobility pretty well. For level 16, I, I know why I'm not picking my level 16 here yet. It's actually uh, probably your stronger talent. For this map, I actually thought that I already clicked it. Now that I remember, but I've, I, it was just a mistake for me that I actually minimized the talent tree. But yet again, we're going to get this immortal to full HP. Basically, your level 60 talent is again a wolf card talent. Uh, basically, you gain another bonus 40 attack speed, which is almost a hundred percent. No, not a hundred, but if you start with 50 percent and you get 40 bonus, that makes it. 90% so uh, this actually needs you to have your uh, passive up for a uh, four seconds of total so basically all those talents uh, give you bonuses if you keep your W up as much as much as possible and if, if you auto attack as much as possible so we're going to be pushing with this immortal here um, I'm just trying to be a bit safe here not to get caught uh, try to stay away from Ragnaros. Uh, here, Ragnaros is doing quite a lot of damage. Uh, our tiny suit is going to go up. I'm not going to get hit by that, but I'm getting hit by a lot of Ragnaros' stuff. I'm actually already 50% HP. Ragnaros ultimate going on uh, Lyric, but that's not that big of a deal. We're, we're pretty well there here, actually. 50% HP on everyone. They're engaging on us. That guy is going to die instantly. I'm going to get stunned by the Diablo ulti. I'm going to get tossed by Diablo. I'm in a very bad spot. I'm trying to go in my wolf, wolf form and try to get some distance away from Diablo. Oh, uh, uh, the flame, the flame though. I'm one spell or attack uh, 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 from dying here. But I'm going to make it out. Uh, we have only a Nubarak left. Oh no, a Nubarak so unlucky. Oh, but he's going to pop up the shoot. Maybe he can survive. Uh, we did manage to get that one fourth down, so that's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty important. To be honest, I think uh, the Nubarak is going to be able to escape. Yeah, yes, indeed. I know what. Yeah, he's not going to chase him anymore now. Those two guys are actually going to start uh, wanting to do some tower damage until we are dead. It's a pretty nice move, but Lyric is going to be coming up. I feel a bit confident here going on the Ragnaros, especially with the Lyric up, but maybe not go that deep because I have no awareness. Of their other teammates. Now this is the point where the most epic fight uh, happened probably. Uh, around the other immortal. It was probably one of the better fights uh, throughout this fight. Um, yeah, Sivans did die there pretty early on the last fight. I'm going to grab this camp. And, uh, what the, one other thing that bothers me here is that I'm used to be the blue cower. Uh, because if you spawn on the right side uh, as an op in game, you're still blue cower, and I'm <laughs> watching myself as a red cower now, which is a, a bit confusing me here. But oh well. So they have level 19 here. Not going to be that big of a deal, but they're actually coming here towards this camp. Our Tannis is going to pull, but he's not going to be able to get in the right position. I'm going to dodge their Tannis ulti. Going to get stunned by the Diablo. Actually, mark the Diablo. Going to start firing at the Diablo. See that uh, Mark is doing a uh, quite a good of work. Diablo is going to notice that and going to retreat. Everyone from our team is still alive. I'm pretty well there. I'm going to get disengaged by Faustad. Whoa, the Nubarak is actually pretty well getting chased by Ragnaros. Uh, Rhaegar is pretty well here as well. Lurik though, trying to engage on full HP there. Um, alright, alright. Our Titan seems in a bad spot there though. Rhaegar is throwing us out. I'm going to jump to secure the Titan skill. Now I'm going to change my focus to Malfur. I'm going to get rooted though. Pretty unfortunate. Uh, Faustad here, I'm going to disengage. Uh, not that big of a deal. So we're going to turn our focus here to the Immortal. We have one more guy up, oh, one more heroes alive, so that's going to be very nice for us. Now, you're going to notice here the increase of attack speed if I'm actually... Eh? Eh? 
no, no, no it's not, that was not a good camera view there. Um, we did manage to get it pretty fast down, and with the Artanis down, uh, we're, we're just able to secure that pretty well, but uh, they got the Immortal on their side this time, so it's going to be a bit harder to defend. I'm going to start throwing some auto-attack damage, going to get Ragnaros ulti there, going to kinda miss, uh, me trying uh, to be as far as possible, Go uh, we're, I'm getting a lot of poke there though, uh, getting my HP a bit up from Rhaegar, uh, but it's actually pretty hard uh, to keep myself alive here. Morphuran now from the side. I think Rhaegar just used his ult here. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty well and I cannot just get not get any sustain, so it's pretty nasty for me. Uh, so I'm trying to be as safe as possible on the back line there. Artanis though getting the blind up. I cannot do anything for this duration, so that's pretty uh, pretty bad. Uh, I landed my ulti on Diablo there and going to start doing some damage. Uh, he's going to retreat though. I see a wall Ragnaros, but I'm still keeping the fire on Diablo. Going to get swapped by Artanis. Uh, and, and they're changing the focus to me. I'm going to die there, which is pretty pretty bad. Now Leoric. Oh, Diablo ulti going down. Leoric is going to die as well. That kind of sucks. Uh, that's a, that actually wasn't the last fight. The last fight is going to come pretty shortly here. Rhaegar is going to die. Um, now they're going to be turning uh, uh, their focus on the Immortal, and they're probably going to be able to finish it pretty easily. Ragnaros is going to soak those catapults there. Uh, we have only Sylvanas and Anub up, so they're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, Rhaegar is on 40 seconds cooldown here on the dead timer. I'm 30. Lyric is going to come up next. Uh, Anub is just trying to poke them a bit here, but generally they're going to secure this final Immortal. Alright. We just got level 20, and there are actually two talent choices here for level 20 as an uh, arranged uh, Grey main, I went for the passive Basic attack splash for 100% of the damage behind the target Basically, uh, I do uh, I do deal a lot of the damage on their tank, so I want that damage to be splashed behind them So I can do actually a lot of damage on their um, Squishies, the other talent is going to be the upgrade for the mark for the Q. Most of the times you wouldn't be picking this upgrade. Uh, I, I will I will be talking some other times if I pick it uh, for why it is good. Uh, but in general, we're I'm just trying to be da damaging Diablo. I wooted him. He actually got some HP back there from his uh, passive choice. Uh, I'm going to change focus to Dia uh, for to Ragnaros now. Now he's actually getting a bit low. I'm going to just. Uh, just attacking from a distance here uh, Doing as much damage as possible as you can see the splash damage is actually helping out a lot uh, Going to jump on the fast as well after the Diablo. I'm actually a bit low there going to Disengage I barely dodged that Ragnaros thingy there now the immortal is actually doing uh, starting to do a lot of core damage Sylvanas is getting pretty well. I'm just going to start the auto attack dealing splash damage here doing my best doing my best Ragnar is going to submerge. I'm going to focus down back to the immortal because he's doing a lot of damage. Now I'm going to into the wolf form. Uh, then again, back to. <laughs> uh, and 4% HP down. But now that Diablo is sneaking on the top there, I'm going to focus on my. Uh, focus on Diablo. They're going wolf because the wolf provides you with more auto attack damage. I'm going to go for the apocalypse, but our damage is just going to be too big for that. And we're going to be able to finish this game. Holy shit. Man, uh, I probably didn't do that uh, that good throughout the entire game, but that last defense, man, I try hard it so much, and I think I played Greymane in that last fight to the best I could, and we managed to survive it, man. Uh, it was a beautiful defense there. Um, Yeah, uh, Fausta is still up, though. Uh, but it's going to get zoned by Lurak and my damage is just going to be pretty high there. Uh, and especially with the catapult, so we're going to be able to finish the core. Holy shit. Uh, 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 and also, the replay doesn't allow you actually to see. I think actually I can show the end stats just from the replay. Oh, the MVP. MVP is going to be Lurak. And yeah, we're not going to be. Yeah, we're going to be able to see just for a few seconds here. Avenger, Retinus, Ragnaros. Yeah, so I'm going to get out a quick replay. 
and I don't th yeah I don't think you can see stats from the replay though. Well, gray main game must record. Nah, you cannot see that. Yeah, that's pretty shameful. Uh, I'm going. It was just a a fuck up from me, guys. That I failed to press the record button instead of the instead of the preview button. Uh, but this is on my second account, as you can see. I've been playing a lot of ranked games, and I managed to get pretty high. Uh, this is my previous, almost previous high uh, rank. I was 2,000 back then, I, and as you can see, I actually didn't didn't do that many games. I have, whoops, uh, I have a hundred, almost a hundred games, and my win rate is around eh, almost 60%, maybe. Uh, general, I've been playing. A lot of Illidan Zero Two and Naratos mostly. Yep. Um, sometimes I pick Gazwo, Grayman, Tassadar, but generally I've been playing mostly those three heroes uh, to climb. So that is going to be everything from me from today, guys. So thank you for watching. And until next time, stay righteous. And coming up. Oh, thank you, Avatar. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to go another engage there. Unfortunately, Diablo got caught in the Void Prison. Uh, oh, and Azaria uh, zoning me out from their team. Uh, but we're, whoa, we're getting a lot of kills. A lot of kills. A lot of kills. The Diablo's also landing Apocalypse there. Five kill down.